This short video tutorial describes how to use the advisories in Brilliance. So, what are advisories? The Brilliance advisories are the clinical issues which do not meet the standard of care, or, need the clinician's attention to ensure proper follow-up. Therefore, the advisories reduce the risk of clinical errors, and, improve patient safety. Simply put, they are the provider's best friends. Simple, efficient, and, effective. When a patient is loaded, Brilliance automatically loads a large subset of the clinical data, and, analyzes hundreds of data elements in the medical record. Using the standard of care rules like a human expert, it identifies, and displays, a short list of the clinical issues, which may need further evaluation. Brilliance does all this in the background in less than one minute. In a typical patient, the clinician can review all the advisories, and the related data in less than two minutes. Doing so manually in CPRS will take many hours. To assist the clinician, a single click on an advisory displays the relevant clinical data in great detail. This way, the clinician can determine the need for further evaluation, if any. We will see many examples of the advisories in this video. Let us take a quick look at the user interface. When we load a patient in Brilliance, it automatically displays the advisories page. This is the home page for the Brilliance app. The user interface is clearly laid out. It follows the modern Windows conventions. The advisories are listed in the left half of the home page. The detailed clinical data about the selected advisory is displayed in the right half. Please take a look at the user interface elements in the video. The advisories list has the columns for date and result values for each advisory. When the user clicks on an advisory, the related clinical data is shown in the details area in the right half. Most advisories show historical data at the top of the details area. This way, the clinician can quickly determine if the medical condition is stable, getting better, or getting worse. Many additional details are provided so that the user can determine if further evaluation is indicated. To view all the details, you may need to scroll the text using the vertical scroll bar. The buttons at the top of the details area change according to the selected advisory. The More Details button below the details area show a list of relevant data views. The data views provide detailed information about the clinical issue. The data views are covered in a separate tutorial. Let us talk about how to maximize the benefits of advisories in real life use and enhance your workflow and efficiency along the way. Once you have greeted and seated the patient, please follow your routine workflow. For example, you may want to start a new note in CPRS or review your last progress note. You may want to ask the patient about any new health problems. In the meantime, Brilliance automatically loaded the data when you changed the patient in CPRS. Therefore, by this time, the Brilliance advisories are ready for your review. Having taken care of your initial workflow, we tell the patient something like, let me take a look at your medical record and see what is going on. Here is something to remember. If we think of advisories only as data, then we are missing the big picture. Think of the advisories as your agenda for the visit and your discussion points. Each advisory display the historical data. Therefore, we immediately know what is improving, remains stable, or is getting worse. In real life, the clinician will discuss the data with the patient as needed. Along the way, the clinician will decide if the current status is okay, or further evaluation is needed. Let us review a few advisories. Please watch the screen as you would do to review the data in real life.
Here are a few final thoughts about the Brilliance advisories. 1. The advisories help prevent clinical errors by identifying the clinical issues, which need clinicians' attention. If you were to use only one feature in Brilliance, please use advisories. 2. They are for clinicians' information only. They do not require any data entry. 3. Please do not confuse Brilliance advisories with the CPRS clinical reminders or the view alerts. Brilliance is designed to reduce your work, not increase it. 4. Please ignore the advisories which are not relevant to your specialty. For example, an imaging related advisory would not be relevant to a pharmacist or a psychologist. 5. All advisories are based on the clinical data when the data was loaded. Therefore, they will change over time as patients' condition changes. 6. Using the right click, any data can be easily copied to the progress note or addendum in the CPRS. 7. Using the right click, you can create self reminders in the Brilliance Task Manager. The Task Manager feature is described in a separate tutorial. 8. If you have two or more monitors, it is best to keep CPRS on your main monitor and drag Brilliance over to the second monitor. <laughs>